You can now get a 30-day trial to experience The Athletic for free. Visit the link in the description below to try it now. French football is having a chaotic year. Between August and November, there were 10 separate incidents of fan trouble, all of which impacted Liga games and, in some cases, have left supporters and even players injured. But why? What's causing this sudden rush of chaos? Well, first, a recap of the incidents themselves. In August, missiles thrown by Montpellier fans at Marseille players forced the teams off the pitch and delay the conclusion of the game. Two weeks later, another game involving Marseille. A bottle is thrown by Nice fans at Dimitri Payet, who then retaliates by hurling the bottle back at supporters. It sparks a pitch invasion, which also involves the respective coaching staff. Payet is kicked by a fan during the melee, and an Olympic Marseille fitness coach is shown on television punching a Nice supporter. On September the 18th, dozens of Lens fans invade the pitch in response to provocation by visiting Lille supporters. A day later, a young PSG fan is hit by debris thrown by Lyon supporters at the Parc des Princes. And September the 22nd is a low point. Three separate games are affected by crowd trouble. Injuries are reported after Montpellier's game with Bordeaux, as the latter's coach is damaged by stones being thrown. And on the same night, at both Metz against PSG and Angers versus Olympique Marseille, rival fans throw missiles at each other. Exactly a month later, on the 22nd of October, a Saint-Étienne home game is delayed by fans throwing flares onto the pitch. Two days on, Neymar's attempts to take corners in a game between PSG and OM are repeatedly met by missiles thrown by opposition supporters. And most recently, in mid-November, Lyon's game against Marseille was barely five minutes old when Dimitri Payet was struck by a water bottle and fell to the floor. The game was delayed and then postponed. In response, players have been sanctioned with bans, clubs have been forced to play games in front of partially or completely empty stadiums. Banning orders have also been given, and in the case of the supporter who kicked Dimitri Payet, a suspended prison sentence has even been handed down. And as expected, various club presidents have also contributed inflammatory rhetoric to an already overheated situation. But why is this happening now? Well, a generic explanation is that having had football taken away during the pandemic, some returning supporters have allowed the game's return and its rivalries to get the better of them. It's a contributing issue, as are the deeper, more sociological and economic effects of COVID. But there's a containment problem too. A bigger factor has been a stewarding shortage, or a shortage of experienced stewards. In an article for The Athletic, Tom Williams spoke to Stéphane Boudon, president of the Securité CTFC trade union, who explained that many stewards left the industry when the pandemic shut it down, and having been forced to find employment elsewhere, haven't returned. The effect has been to create a relatively understaffed and inexperienced workforce in Stadia, which, as Boudon explains, isn't equipped, prepared or motivated to deal with the challenges arising. When incidents occur, you can't ask someone who's so poorly paid and who has such a precarious economic status to put themselves in harm's way in order to keep the pitch secure, he told The Athletic. What happens next is uncertain. In response to the rush of incidents, a task force has been formed combining government ministers and influential figures from within a range of sports, and they're expected to announce any findings or new measures before Christmas. Until then, French football awaits its next disruption. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic brings you the best sports journalism in the world in a personalized experience, connecting you with the stories and teams that you care about the most. There's coverage of 13 sports, plus direct access to world-class journalists through live Q&As, discussions and podcasts. Not to mention, it's all ad-free. And you can try it now for free for 30 days by clicking the link in the description.